Is Kanye West Jesus? Can he really walk on water? Let's find out. Today we got Kanye West and the, the Sunday service, ex Joel Olstein. We got this nice little collab. This is like when this is like when Lincoln Park and Jay Z did a collab together. We got Kanye West and Joel Olstein. We got Ye walking on water. Let's play it. The Kroger app, you can get personalized. Okay, this is the weirdest ad for Kroger. <laughs> They're talking about appropriation of culture. This <laughs> Actually, no, not even, because this is just cringy, weird, like, pandering. Coupons on top of weekly sales. All for prices that are lower than low. Kroger, fresh for everyone. <laughs> I kind of like that ad. That ad is just ridiculous. It's just funny that it comes on before Kanye West and Joel Olstein walk on water. Jesus, what are you talking about? That's possible. I can't do that. I think we all have that at times in life when we think, man, God's telling me to do something. I feel it down on the inside, but, you know, we don't feel qualified. We don't have the experience. Man, I can't sing like this. I can't invent like Kanye. That's for somebody else. But God doesn't put a dream in your heart and then not give you the ability to do it. Hey, whoa, whoa, listen to what he just said. God doesn't put a dream in your heart and then not give you the ability to do it. If you see it in your head, if you believe in it, you can do it. You can do anything. All things are possible through God. All things are possible through your belief. I believe that. That's my faith. I've learned in life. You have to choose. All right, there's probably, you can probably see there's like a beam here of some sort, but. So we're watching, and he goes through, and I think Ye is going to walk out on the water. This is the song I was singing from the riot highlight video. I don't know any of the words, but they've made it like Jesus that love. He's supposed to forgive. Wait, are they doing? They, they're doing Mo Bamba now. Alright, okay, but to be fair, check this out. Now, this this is a bit weird, yeah. But if you've ever been to any one of these big church ceremonies or whatever, these big, like, modern churches, I guess, a lot of churches do, like, theatrics like this. I thought for a second this might be some weird ritual, but I, I'm not quite sure. I don't think so. I think I've seen this done a lot of different places. I've seen a lot of people dress up like Jesus at uh, churches, and I've, I've even seen some weird some weird shit where it was like a boxing match and it was like Jesus versus the devil and they're the or like the pastor versus the devil and the Jesus was in his corner or I don't remember what it was but it was like really crazy there's some weird stuff out there but now think about this if Kanye West was in charge of your worship team would you go to church and stand up and sing would you actually sing if Kanye West was taking like songs like Mo Bamba and turning them into gospel songs, turn them into like worship songs. That's kind of like some nice alchemy if you, if you think about it. I'd be down. It's kind of nice. I mean, shit. Kanye West walking on water, of course. <laughs> he wrote Jesus Walks. I'm going to go ahead and give it to him. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that I like this. You can tell me, tell me what you think in the comments. Is this some weird ritual? Do you like this? Do you think it's appropriate to take songs like Mo Bamba and convert them into gospel songs about Jesus? Is it cringy? Is it cool? 
would you go to Ye's church just to see it? I feel like that's what's crazy is that like you you're basically taking all the people who would go see a Kanye West concert and then all the people who would go see Joel Olstein talk and you're making like something beyond a mega church. We're talking about like a super duper church. We're talking about like ultra instinct church, like Gurren Lagen church. I don't, I don't, I don't know if a good plus ultra, like beyond the level, beyond, beyond the level, beyond. And that's the kind, that's the size of the church that could be created with this. So I don't know if you'd like buy tickets to go to these churches. I don't know how it works, but I would definitely go see Kanye talk about God or Kanye do the worship service at a church. Plus, I mean, like, dude, you, you meet some nice people at church. Sometimes you meet some judgmental, douchey people. But as I've found, and I'm sure you all have found, there's douchey, judgmental people everywhere you go. And there's nice people everywhere. So, I mean, I, there's just free donuts at church. So, so take care. Uh, if you like this, then uh, let me know. If you don't like this, then let me know. I think I like it. I don't, you don't, and you don't have to ever agree with me ever just because I, I say something for sure. Don't be your own person. You have your own reasons for thinking the things that you do. You have your own sources. So let me know. Let me know what your opinion is. And also let me know what your opinion on Kanye is in general. I, what, are you going to vote for Kanye 2024, 2020? Is he still running? What is up with that? Is he, did he just come out to just like cover up the news cycle for a week? What was China doing that week? Was China and India doing some shit? What was the UFOs doing? Joe Rogan thinks UFOs are coming. He's like 100% sure. Joe Rogan probably knows some things. People keep talking about their billionaire friends saying they're convinced aliens are coming. Is that just uh, predictive programming? That's a whole other video. I don't know what we're talking about. We're talking about Kanye walking on water. Let me know what you think in the comments. Be a good person. Call your mom. Peace.